In this video I am going to show how to set up Python Celery with RabbitMQ broker and backend. So I have created this same tax.py file and I specified broker and backend there. So I will show you the example. This is a tax.py which I created. already opened here so here you can see the broker so I am using the ANQP broker and the backend also ANQP in the broker you can see I specified username password and vhost so we need to create this vhost and username in the RabbitMQ server then the task here I specified a simple task add okay so let me start the salary worker server so for that we need to go to the location where we created this task.py okay so from that location you can run salary worker server so this is a command which run salary worker server so in this command you need to specify the file or module where we defined the task so this task.py is a file where we define the task so we need to specify that module or name of that task.py file here so we don't need to specify the dot .py we can remove the dot .py part and only the name is enough the module name okay so I'm going to run it so you can see that is connected to the MQP, is connected to the RabbitMQs, and it's ready. And it's ready to get the ready to take the task and run it. Okay, so we need to give a task. So I will show you how to give the task. So let me go to the Python console. From there, import. the task add from the tax.py file then I am going to call the task so there is a format to call the task add dot delay then the argument we need to pass to the task so here this is the task add so the task accept two arguments x and y so that are argument we can pass like this task name dot delay then the argument okay now we in we call the task now we can check the uh, salary worker server here you can see it's received the task named task dot odd then task task dot odd success succeeded in as a time okay so result is available in R so we can check it's an async result object so you can check the status like ready that means result is ready so we can accept, accept so we can take the result like R dot result to 4 plus 2 6 so you can check the other options other uh, methods of the uh, object R like this you can do successful lot of things okay this way we can configure celery with rabbitmq broker and backend 